Good afternoon, guys! Welcome to Life Apollo, some of the most trusted beer and automotive news. Happy to have you here. Per usual, we have another phenomenal episode in store for all of you watching today, full of the, the interesting tidbits that uh, most automotive YouTuber enthusiasts miss. Some potentially massive news for the Stradman channel, some very surprising news for Amelia Hartford, and much, much more. But before we begin uh, our news today, guys, another uh, reminder that we're doing a huge subscriber push here in January to try to hit a quarter million subs strong for the channel. Long time lurkers, I'm looking at you. If you appreciate the daily grind, if you watch the videos and consume them with joy, I would love it if you could make today the day you subscribe. And with that, Beard Nation, let's go. First up today, guys, as you know, we like to start the program uh, with either some big congratulations, we have a monster one today, or incredible achievements. And the one that we're gonna talk about first today from Drag Times is truly astonishing, and that is not hyperbole whatsoever. As you guys know, if you're a normal viewer of the channel, uh, we, we covered the 765LT delivery video. It was covered both on the Drag Times channel, uh, Brooks the owner, and on Shmi's channel as well during his US tour. And during that segment, we told you to be on the lookout on the Drag Times channel, our uh, Instagram account, uh, for something uh, truly astonishing with the 765LT. And ladies and gentlemen, we have our answer. Brooks taking to the Drag Times Instagram account uh, to say, just going to leave this here. Stock McLaren 765LT, quickest production car ever down the quarter mile, showing a time of 9.338. To call this a monumental achievement would be an understatement. Uh, what McLaren has done with the 765LT I had no idea it was going to be this fast. And to be completely honest with you, I'm fairly convinced that Brooks should have been given his 765 LT for free, considering how many uh, units he probably just sold for McLaren off just that one post. Much like having the world's fastest car, whether it's a Bugatti or a Koenigsegg, having the world's quickest car down the quarter mile is also a pretty big deal. Get ready for tons of exciting uh, super and hyper car versus matchups on the drag time channel featuring the 765 LT as Brooks continues to break in that absolutely insane supercar. We've said it time and time again guys, Drag Times uh, produces incredibly high level content, uh, very accurate readings for the quarter mile. Uh, make sure to go over there and subscribe today. You will not regret it whatsoever. Next up guys, we have an incredible uh, congratulations to give the channel Rich Rebuilds, not only on his latest video, which is taking the Sherp he bought to every drive through in town, but Rich Rebuilds just hit a million subscribers. Subscribers. We first started covering Rich Rebuild's channel maybe like four or five months ago, and very quickly he became uh, one of my favorite subscribed channels that I have. Extraordinarily funny, uh, very informative. Uh, there's so many things to like about Rich Rebuild's channel. If you have not given his channel a try uh, yet in 2021 or 2020, uh, make today the day that you go over and check out his videos. Uh, all of his Sherp content in particular has been just awesome. I've been waiting for a YouTuber to buy a Sherp for a long time. Uh, I think you guys are really gonna like his Sherp episodes. Just make sure to go check him out, guys, and give him a big congratulations. Hitting a million subscribers is a huge deal. Rich, if you're watching, a uh, huge congratulations on a million subscribers. You earned this, man. Next up, guys, gotta talk about Street Speed 717 who has just been blowing up uh, all over YouTube, on national news as well, for the shenanigans that he's decided to employ uh, concerning his new TRX or T-Rex, whatever you, whatever you wanna call it. First, we had the enormously successful delivery video. Uh, finally seeing it for the first time, going over all the options. Uh, then we had the let's jump it as far as we can video, and now our latest video from Street Speed 717, the full damage report on said jump. Now I gotta laugh a little bit guys, uh, obviously he's been doing some really crazy things with his new truck uh, and it has not gone unnoticed uh, by particular Instagram commenters on his page. Now I, I could really care less, uh, it's his truck, I think he can do whatever he wants with it. Uh, private property, always a pretty big deal to me. Uh, you buy it, you can do whatever you want. Uh, the only time I really care about people destroying their own property is when it's sort of a rare edition like that uh, Gimbala Mirage GT. That made me really sad when that guy went out and destroyed 
destroyed it. And I'll tell you this, guys, I don't think anyone can argue with this. Uh, what Mike has been doing uh, with that truck has just been one of the greatest marketing things that I have seen, I would say in 2021, uh, but maybe like the preceding six months as well. Uh, monster views, including the most views he has ever received in a single hour in his five years on the platform. Uh, big congratulations going to Mike. You are obviously doing a lot right here, uh, bringing in the views. Well done. If you have not been watching his videos as of late, you are missing out. They are complete chaos at this point. A link for his channel in the description below. Moving right along, guys. Next up, Amelia Hartford, uh, who's in the midst of, you know, looking for her brand new supercar, uh, posted something on our Instagram account. It's just kind of cool and I felt like sharing with you guys. Apparently, uh, the color scheme for her C8 Corvette has become the fifth most liked design uh, to be created on Forza. And that's pretty much the entire story, guys. Just kind of a cool thing to share. I love it when automotive YouTuber uh, car designs sort of make their way into other parts of society, uh, video games included. In the comments below, uh, let me know, are you guys big Forza players? Do you play a lot? Do you design YouTuber cars? I'd be curious to know where you sort of sit on that issue. Next up, guys, we might have gotten confirmation on a brand new C8, but maybe the one you were not expecting for the Stradman channel in a very interesting place on Instagram. Now, as you guys know, uh, Stradman has teased uh, buying another C8 for his channel maybe like half a dozen times at this point. It's come up uh, at least once a month for like the last six months. And at this point, we have heard uh, rumors for the most part that the C8 Z06 model is supposed to be slated for the first half of 2021. Enter Chevy Dude, who actually was the reason why Stradman was able to procure a, one of the first C8s in the country uh, at the time. Chevy Dude posted a picture congratulating Stradman on hitting 3 million subs, but it was Stradman's reply that got a lot of people sending me this particular screenshot. Stradman saying, thanks dude, I hope to see you someday soon for another sick car. Uh, the timing here, uh, the continual hints about another C8 on the channel really line up well with a C8 Z06 model going to Stradman's channel sometime in the first couple months of 2021. But as always guys, it's only speculation. So in the comments below, do you think we're gonna see another C8 on Stradman's channel anytime soon? Uh, would it be the Z06 model? Would it be the regular model? And will he ever finish the original build plans that he had for the car before he sold it like three months after buying it. If you look back at some of the main reasons why Stradman now averages a million views plus a video, it's first when he bought the Toyota Supra and then the purchase of the C8 afterward. Uh, without one of those cars in there, he maybe never gets to the insane level that he has now. Let me know what you think, guys. Put it in the comments below and on to our next story. Now we have Adam LZ, guys. His latest video uh, entitled Drifting the Cream S13 at the first event of 20 2021 is vintage Adam LZ content. Uh, one of the reasons why I follow the Adam LZ channel is because of his just amazing drifting action uh, just about every single video that I watched. If you want some great drifting, some fantastic automotive content, make sure to add Adam LZ to your subscription list. Speaking of other automotive YouTubers that you have to have on your subscription list, maybe I should make a must have sub list here at some point. Uh, let's talk about Manny Koshman, his latest video, all the reasons why I like and dislike the McLaren P1. Uh, now, we've talked about it time and time again. Manny Koshman's channel uh, allows for unprecedented super and mostly hypercar access uh, in ways that most automotive YouTube channels can just never achieve. If you want to live vicariously uh, through a, an awesome hypercar owner, Manny Koshman is your guy. He also has my favorite spec McLaren P1 maybe of all time. Uh, just go check it out if you haven't seen it. It is a true sight to behold. And that's not even talking about his insane Bugattis. Uh, there, there are many of them. Next up, guys, an oldie but a goodie, uh, Watch JR Go. Uh, very similar to what Hoovy's Garage Channel does, but he does it with even sort of uh, Hoovier-ish cars. Uh, his latest video says, I never expected it to start so well. The $1 BMW X5 runs again. And I'll tell you why I've been enjoying his channel lately. He just bought an insane warehouse He's doing tons of work to it. Uh, very excited to see what that's going to look like at the end. But he's also doing amazing car projects in between. If you've never checked out Watch JR Go, make sure to do so. We'll have a link for his channel in the description below. Next up, guys, uh, more Lamborghini action for the TJ Hunt channel uh, with a very familiar-ish title. I feel like I've seen that title just about everywhere uh, through Daily Driven Exotics and TJ Hunt and uh, pretty much anyone else that has a Lamborghini. Uh, but it's humorous and entertaining, and TJ Hunt has been doing a great job lately. Make sure to go check out his latest 
next video if you want to see what happened. And if your thirst for Lamborghini action uh, was not sated, uh, let's talk about TGE TV, who just revealed his brand new Lamborghini 2. A uh, very, very menacing looking spec as well. I know we haven't talked about TGE TV for a little while, but I'm doing my best to remedy that right now. Uh, crazy car collection, uh, insane new Huracan. Congratulations on that great purchase. And last but certainly not least, guys, uh, Super Speeders Rob channel has, a, has the next episode of Sorted Out, this one called The Surviving Cars Hit the Track. It's season one, episode eight. Uh, as you guys know, uh, Car Track has been phenomenal to watch. Uh, Sorted, another great series with amazing automotive YouTubers collabing together on, on one big series. Uh, Matt Farah, Amelia Hartford, uh, Rob Freddy, all doing a phenomenal job in the Sorted series. Make sure not to miss this episode. You're gonna love it. And that's about all I've got for you guys today, except I do wanna end today uh, with me asking you a favor. Uh, we're trying to do some cool Instagram stuff here in the next couple days. I would really love it if you could go over and follow me there. Feel free to send me a message as well. I do my best to try to reply to everyone that messages me. It does take me some time to do so, uh, but I love interacting with everybody that watches our channel and content. If you wanna go message me there, I'll do my best to hit you back as soon as I can. Anyway guys, make sure to stay safe, sane, and healthy. Uh, I'm just having a fantastic day. Thanks for watching, sub to the channel, and uh, that's all I got. Bye.